Hello, my name is Bill Sablon, better known as William Duenia Sablon, uh, and I was born in Guam and raised in San Diego, California, and uh, my father's from Saipan and my mother is from Guam. Anyway, I came back in 1970 and uh, from the States. I went to school there, but I wanted to come home and I graduated out of Mount Carmel High School in Saipan. Then I met my relatives over there and one of them happened to be my close cousin of mine, but he was a, an adult already or a young teenager during the war. And he was telling me and training me how to go fishing and hunting and what have you. And he introduced me to an uncle of ours and his name was Tunakin Tuhu. Uh, I don't recall what his last name was, but he was a relative and that's all I remember. But anyway, uh, they taught me how to hunt for coconut crabs and go fishing and what have you. Then one day we were just sitting around and they were asking me what was I planning on doing as I got out of school and I said I always wanted to be a pilot. Then the minute I said pilot, my uncle just gave me this funny look. He says, you know, there was an incident here in Saipan back early, back in the middle 30s, somewhere around that time. He couldn't recollect the date, but he mentioned something about an American woman and an American gentleman that was brought in by the Japanese for questioning. And they were found and located somewhere in a farther southern islands. And they were bringing them to Saipan because Imperial Japan was notified about them. But during their session here, I guess the Imperial Japan didn't want anything to do with them because uh, they didn't want to get involved in any national scandal. So I, apparently, I think they were both uh, killed in Saipan and buried there. And I found out later on, as I made my inquiries, that they were killed in Saipan and they weren't sent to Japan uh, because Japan wasn't preparing anything. And apparently after the war was over, their bodies were exhumed by uh, an American military branch and shipped back to the United States. Now where those bodies are now is somebody's own question to answer. Nobody seems to know. And right now America is still looking for Amelia Earhart.